Hi, this is Gary Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling unattached because today our quote of the day is, the root of suffering is attachment by Buddha. Well, is this true? Why did Buddha say, say that the root of suffering is attachment and what did he mean by it? This is what I will talk about in today's video. You see, when you are attached to something and you lose it or do not attain it, you lose your peace of mind and then you suffer. On the other hand, when you do something for the sake of just doing it, just because it is the right thing to do and not for your personal benefit and without being attached to specific results, then you are free. When you are not doing something for what it will bring you, but for the will and inner need to do what needs to be done and what is right to do, then you are happiest. When you surrender the results and do what you believe should be done and needs to be done for the sake of benefiting yourself and the world around you, then you have already succeeded. When you are not attached to results, there is also no rush and there is no anger or frustration when things do not work out exactly according to plan, which they normally do not. You just keep on going because it is, it is the progress and the movement towards what you believe is important that motivates your action and not the results. This steers away all aggression, all violence and anger because there is patience and a pleasure in the way, in the process. There is no attachment to results. When you live like this, your life will be full and all your dreams will come true because it is the path to success that becomes the most important rather than the outcome. In effect, the success is the path towards the goal and not the reaching of the goal. This is how most of the highest achievers have succeeded with their dreams. They did what they believed was necessary and they did whatever needed to be done in advance to advance their beliefs. Now, they enjoyed the process and the process formed the, their greatest success. A person who is detached from results but tries always to do only their best without thought of any sort of personal gain will not waver when difficulties come. They will continue on the path towards their goals. It is important to note that non-attachment is not apathy or nor is it surrender to the present situation, no. It is involvement in, in what is seen as important. Non-attachment goes so far as to not only cover our actions and the results of our actions, but also covers our opinions. Our attachment to our opinions of how things should be and how people should behave will also lead to suffering. Because when we have expectations from other people to behave in certain ways, then we will get disappointed when they don't behave in that specific way. And then we will suffer from this frustration. When we want nothing for ourselves, then we also have no expectations from other people. And then we can see clearly into other people's needs and see how we can serve them. Or if we need, then we can see how we can actually move away from them. When you have attachment to specific results, you forget your mission and you become obsessed with the obstacles on the way to the results that you desire. You get wrapped up in the difficulties and may even give up. If you engage in action for the sake of reward, then the ends will always be more important than the means, and all ways towards achieving the end will become an option. You will not care if you hurt or harm other people to get your results. You will do everything to get your results that you desire. But when you act in this way, even if your results are achieved in the end, you will never be happy, nor will you have peace of mind because you will be angry, you will feel guilty, and you will also have a fear of losing your possessions. On the other hand, having non-attachment to results does also not mean inaction. Do the work in this world. Do your work in this world, and you will be happiest and most content with all that you do. As I mentioned many times before, we all have unique gifts and abilities, and it is our duty to bring those forward and to use them to the good of ourselves and of others. That is our purpose in life. Life is not results-based, but action-based. 
When you live your life in this way, then nothing can act upon you. Whatever happens in life around you, whether good or bad, it will not change your course of action from doing what you need to do. You will continue on your path, satisfied with the opportunity to do rather than anything else. When you do your best work on your life purpose, then it will not matter other people's reactions to your work. You will, of course, still want to learn and improve yourself and your products, but you are not uh, attached to what other people do with your products and services. Sri Chinmo, uh, the famous Indian spiritual leader, said that non-attachment is not indifference. When you are indifferent, you don't look at the other person. You are walking along a street and somebody is dying of thirst, but you will not look at him. If you are non-attached, then your inner being will compel you to give him a glass of water. But if he doesn't drink from it, you will not feel sad or angry. I find this to be the perfect definition of non-attachment. You do what is right and what you are compelled to do, no matter how other people react to it. When you are attached to results, you actually make yourself smaller than what you could perhaps be when you dissociate yourself with the results. When you free yourself from results, you also free yourself from competitiveness and from likes and dislikes, and your heart fills with joy when you act generously or with compassion without expecting anything in return. Also, peace of mind comes your way when you detach yourself from results because you can really never, ever control the outcomes or the results. You can do your best, but you can't ever really control them. When we think we, uh, when we, think we can, this prevents us from becoming resilient and leads to our suffering. Not all things go according to plan, but when we give our best to do what we love doing while emotionally letting go of the consequence, then we are living in the now and this is bliss. When we understand that we, what we really need is nothing in return for doing what we love, then we understand that we already are rich and we already have everything we need. We have peace and prosperity. Desire is not what causes the suffering. We all are born with inborn desires and this is what moves our evolution forward. When you do what makes you happy without attachment to the desired results, then perhaps you will get much more than you ever imagined possible. Any form of overthinking about something also comes from attachment. This is another form of attachment to results. Relax. Allow your mind to think these thoughts, but remember that you are not your thoughts. You are the observer of your thoughts, so do not confuse your roles. Do, uh, there is no need uh, to get anxious or worried because of your thoughts. Most of the time, these worrisome thoughts will not ever come to fruition anyway. So just do not judge and just relax and live your life on purpose with passion and without attachment to what will be. Do not identify with the things that are happening outside of your control and do not try to interfere with things that are happening that are outside of your control. This will only lead to your unhappiness. And the same with people. Do not try to control other people or, find, or do not find your happiness on the back of other people's difficulties. This will eventually lead to your own suffering, whether mental or physical. Non-attachment is very much a conscious choice rather than a typical reaction. You have to choose it consciously. In the beginning, this practice may not come naturally to you, but when you keep going over this lesson and start to implement this outlook of, of life into your own life, then you will have so much joy from just doing what you are meant to do. And the worry and anxiety that you may have will all naturally dissipate from your life, leaving you fulfilled and joyful. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, where in my life are the results of my actions more important to me than the, than the actions themselves? Now, once you know this, and then it's time to change your attitude. Do what you love for the sake of doing it without tension or worry. Give thanks for the opportunity to do what you love in your life and your life will be much happier and much more fulfilling. 
So as usual, I recommend writing this question and your answer to it in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and make sure that your life is moving towards the best place for you. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I pray that my attachment to transitory things such as wealth, fame, and comforts may become less and less every day so I can do what I love without attachment to what will be. I pray that my attachment to transitory things such as wealth, fame, and other comforts may become less and less every day so I can do what I love to do without attachment to what will be. Think of how much freer and happier you can be with this line of thought guiding your actions. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel by ringing the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And please also visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining. Me.